Hello everyone, welcome to HR Electrical, where you will learn how to wire industrial electrical component. In today's video, I will show you how to wire industrial relay and explain about its working principle. Also, I will energize the coil by wiring practically so I can demonstrate how normally open and normally close contacts work on a relay. Now watch this video till end so you guys don't miss any important wiring step. Without any further delay, let's start the wiring process. So for this video demonstration, I'm using a Finder relay. Finder is a common industrial brand. And uh, before we start wiring this relay, let me explain you how the relay works. So basically the relay works on a principle of electromagnetic attraction. When we energize the coil, you can see this, the solid iron core where the wires are wrapped around. It get magnetized so when the core get magnetized you can see this metallic strip over here this one it changes its state so you can see this strip moving back forth back and forth so this strip causes the change of a normally open and a normally closed contact on a relay before we start wiring diagram it's really important to read the electrical drawing on the relay so as you can see on this relay, it's first of all it's important to know what voltage you are, you will run your relay on. Either it's a 24 volt DC or a 110 AC. Now as you can see, it's written a 24 volt DC. So this relay will work on a 24 volt DC power. Now to read the relay diagram, now you can see this small square over here and number 13 and 14, it represents the coil of the relay. That means we will put the power on the terminal A1 and a A2. So 13 is a A1 and a 14 is a A2. So our power will be put on these two terminals. 14, A2 and A1 here. Now, as we can see on the relay diagram, number 12 is our common. Number 12 is initially normally close with number 4 and it's normally open with number 8 so we will put our common wire on number 12 you can see on the relay base this is a number 12 here so we will put our common common wire here and it says 12 and 4 is a normally close so this is a 4 on this this terminal over here so this is a normally closed terminal and number 8 is open now what will happen when we will energize the coil that means when we will power up our a2 and a1 so this contact over here the 12 it will break the contact from number 4 and will come to number 8 so 12 and 8 will complete the circuit when we will energize the coil so as you guys are aware about now the working principle of the relay and the wiring diagram so let's start wiring it up so I'm gonna use a negative to my A2, negative of a DC power supply. And these three terminals, they are plus 24 for the DC power supply and this is a negative from a DC power supply, these three. So I'm gonna put the negative to the negative of the DC power supply. okay so one leg of our coil is tied to the negative and the other will be tied to the positive leg using a switch so i'm using this switch over here this is our toggle switch so so let's wire it up one side of the switch i'm gonna put to the plus 24 of our dc supply Now, the other wire from the switch, I'm gonna put to the A1.
so this complete our coil circuit so whenever i will turn on the switch you will see the relay will be energized now you can see the green light over here so that indicates the relay is energized and there is a second indication when you will when the relay is energized you will see this small box you will see just orange color there so as soon as i turn this relay off the light will go away and the orange color will go back so as soon as i turn it on you will see the green light come on and in this box you will see a small little orange color indicating the relay is energized so our coil wiring part is done now i will show you how to energize the relay contacts and for this purpose i will use this diagram over here the 12 i will use number 12 as a common and i will wire up to the plus 24 of on the dc power supply so this side is so this terminal is a number 12 so this is a common terminal and i will wire to the plus 24 dc power supply now to demonstrate how this contacts work i will use a small led for this video so this is a 24 volt green led so i will wire the one of the lag of the led to the zero voltage of the dc power supply so this will be here all right so in order to turn on this led i tied a one leg to the negative of a dc power supply so this white one here this is a negative of a dc power supply now in order to this led to come on i have to apply a plus 24 on this red wire so what i will do we have a plus 24 on this number 12 here and i will put this wire on number eight terminal so whenever I will energize the relay number 12 and number 8 will make a contact and our bulb will come on so let me put this to number 8 so this is our number 8 terminal this one here Right, so our bulb is now wired up so when, whenever I will energize the relay the light should come on so let's try it you can see the light come on as soon as I energize the relay so that means this number 12 make contacts with number 8 so this is our number 8 terminal here and the power passes through the number 12 and number 8 and complete the circuit for this bulb over here so as soon as I turn off the switch the bulb will go off now we wire this LED to a normally open contact which is a number 8 over here now let's demonstrate what will happen if I put this red wire on a normally closed contact and see what happened So uh, for this normally close contact with that normally close, close contact mean 12 and 4 they are initially now normally close the power is flowing through the 12 and 4 so whenever the relay will be energized so this power flow will break over here so which means right now there is a 24 voltage power supply on this number 4 terminal and our LED should be turned on as soon as I put the as soon as I put wire on a normally closed contact now you can see our LED is on now as I explained before when the relay is energized this number 12 common will break the contact with number 4 and it will make the contact with number 8 
so let's try it I'm gonna turn on the relay you can see the relay is now energized and our LED is turned off so basically this is working now reverse as we did before so that's why the relay is also sometimes called a bi operational device you can do it, do the two operation at the same time one can be turned on another can be turned off alternatively so that's how we wire an industrial relay i hope this video will be helpful for you guys especially for the beginners or the people who are new to industry if you guys like this video please subscribe my channel where you will learn how to wire an industrial component thanks for watching this video